there guys, welcome back to another video here on Boreal Bushcraft Canada. Today what I'd like to talk about is D-rings, or O-rings, or rubber rings, or <laughs> S-rings. To do what with them? To secure your tripod. There's a lot of videos out there. Uh, I first saw this idea with, a, uh, with an O-ring uh, from a friend of mine on, uh, on the YouTube uh, channel, Jester Bushcraft. So thanks again there, buddy. It was uh, thanks to you that I started using these uh, little gizmos to facilitate the way I put up my tripods when I go out. So stay tuned and let's talk about these different type, type of rings that you can use to secure your tripod. Okay guys, so if you take a look at the table here, there's different types of rings that I use. My preferred one would have to be the D-ring whether it's a, a two inch or a one and a half uh, as opposed to the rest of them. This one here I also like, this is a rubber ring. I also like this one because if your poles are not like uh, even, if they're not all the same diameter, this will make your life a little bit more easier because there is a little, there's elasticity to it so you can do more with this ring than you can do with the rest. Although I wouldn't keep it too close to the fire. So if you're using a uh, six, seven foot tripod, I don't think you're gonna have an issue with that. The flame is gonna be way too far from the rubber to melt it. Uh, so yeah, like I said, my preferred one would have to be the D-ring, although they all work fine. The trick to this is when you're choosing your poles and your rings, if you're using a three inch ring, you're gonna have to use three poles that total up to very close to three inches meaning the, the the closer to the diameter of the ring your poles are I mean the three poles the easier it is to get a, a nice tight fit when you when you're extending them on either side so basically that's it the rest is all it's not rocket science it's very very easy and uh, so let me move the camera and I'll show you how uh, I go about uh, using these different types of rings. Okay, as I said before, my favorite one would have to be the D-ring. Now, what I have over here is a brass D-ring. You don't have to use brass, although I prefer because I prefer it because it won't rust on me, okay? So, anyway, uh, this would have to be, I think this is a one inch or a one and a half inch uh, D-ring. And to show you how simple it is, I'll just move this stuff like over here so you can see it. There you go. All I do is I take my poles, I position them, I position them. You know, it's very hard when you're trying to look into a camera and you gotta do everything backwards. <laughs> okay guys, here you go. What I do, I position them in like a, a diamond configuration over here and what I do, I take the straight edge of the D-ring and I affix it to the straight edge, the two pieces, the two poles, okay, which are like right over here. You can see what I'm doing. And then the other, the round part, I make it like go on top of the, uh, the top pole here. So you got it, straight edge over here and the rounded one on top. And then all I do, if you can see it, very simple it just stays put I don't have to play with it and I just force it down and away you go presto you got yourself a tripod within I don't know 10 seconds and this thing guys is solid it ain't gonna go anywhere okay it will not go anywhere okay uh, what I'm using here are uh, half-inch bamboo sticks uh, although if you're using uh, saplings or uh, you know uh, raw material from the bush it'll be a lot easier for you you're gonna get a snugger fit because of the bark uh, given that the bamboo is very very uh, slippery you know like it's very very uh, smooth and what have you okay moving the camera over to the smaller tripod give me a second guys which is right down Oops, sorry here you can see that I used the rubber ring for this tripod here. Also a very easy way 
to secure your tripod. This rubber ring fits in perfectly, you know, and then all you got to do is extend your, your sticks and there you have it. You got your tripod and this thing ain't going anywhere, guys. All right. Now you can find these things at uh, hardware stores. I can't remember where I got this one from, but uh, you can find them, I guess, in hardware stores. I know the rest of them, like the D-rings, I ordered them from a buckle guy on the net. Uh, I use them for uh, my leather craft, and, you know, I use a couple of them for, uh, for tripods. And this one here, which is a bigger one, I use for... Uh, bigger sticks you know if I want to make a seat or a bench or whatever you know or you know suspend a cast iron pot the other one which is very easy also to use is the s-ring which is right here let's see if you can see that here you go guys now this is also a very easy method uh, basically, all you got to do, show you, guys. you take your S ring, okay, here you go, you pass it through uh, one of your poles, here, like that, and you pass the other one here, and you got to make sure that your third pole, oh, let me get this one, goes through this little hole that you got here, this little there we go, that it goes through this opening here. And once you get it through there, you're gonna feel it snug. And that's all she wrote, folks. You got yourself another tripod and it just takes seconds to put up. Now, I hope this video was uh, informative, you know. Uh, this is my little spin on uh, tripod rings. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next bit. So long for now.